Hey there, it's Manny with Daddy Cool Records in St. Petersburg, Florida, and in this video we're going to go over the new releases for Friday, September 2nd. I wanted to let you know that we're going to be open Memorial Day, Monday, September 5th, regular hours, 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. Also, in the video description for this video, you can find the list of this week's new releases, artist title description. So check that out down below. All right, so let's get into the featured titles for the week. We're going to start off with Parker Gispert. Uh, this, his album is called Golden Years. He was the front man for the band The Wigs. We have it sale priced for $12.99 on CD. We also have it on vinyl. It is a gold colored vinyl and both the vinyl and the CD are autographed. And you can just see right on the front. Very cool. Next we have a new uh, release from Chris Christofferson. This is live at Gillies in Texas. This was recorded in 1981. Um, we have it sale priced on CD for $14.99. We also have it on a red and white colored vinyl. I really want to check this out. Uh, he's looking so cool. And I do believe he's wearing a free Leonard Peltier shirt as well. So 1981, Chris Christopherson. Megadeth, they've got a new album out. We have it on cassette. We also have it sale price for $11.99 on CD. And hopefully by Friday we will see the record itself um, getting good reviews. And it also has a track with Ice T. All right, let's get into the new releases for the week. Uh, this week, not a whole lot of releases, so I've combined the reissues and new music. Uh, we'll start off with a reissue from the Brian Blade Fellowship Band. It's called Season of Changes. Um, it was originally released in 2008, and it is a limited gold stamped edition, and we have here number 335. We have a new album from Blind Guardian. Get your metal on. We have it on compact disc, and hopefully we will see the vinyl by Friday. Celebrating its 15th anniversary is Calexico's Garden Ruin. This originally came out in 2006. It has been reissued on a silver and white colored vinyl. Okay, we have When a Boy Falls in Love by Mel Carter. This originally came out in 1963. It was on Sam Cooke's label, the SAR Records label. And I do believe this is the first reissue of this since it came out in 1963. Speaking of cool covers, we have a very cool cover here from the band Emotional Oranges. It is their album Juice Box. It is embossed. You can feel all the folks here on the record. Um, they uh, have, believe it or not, over 263 million streams. I know. Um, and this uh, here, also one of the tracks features Vince Staples, so we need to find out what emotional jukebox, no, emotional oranges is all about. All right, originally this came out in 2012. It has been reissued once again. We're talking about the band In This Moment, their album Blood, and it is on a red colored vinyl with a gatefold packet. All right, local band alert. We have a new album from the Hazies. It is entitled I Am Esmeralda. We have it on compact disc for $11.99. New music from King's X. This album is called Three Sides of One. It is their first album of new music in 14 years. We have it on a double LP that is clear blue with a gatefold package. There's a CD in here and a booklet as well. Heavy duty stuff. If you are a fan of bands like Pepper uh, and other reggae artists that are on the Law Records label, we have an artist for you. This is Vana Lila, Laya, sorry. The album is called Little Kahuna. It is on a orange, blue, and yellow colored vinyl. Next, we have a reissue of a Love Tractor album. They were a band from Athens, Georgia. This album originally came out in 1988. It is entitled Themes from Venus, and it is on a clear yellow colored vinyl. It is an indie exclusive with a gatefold package. Next, we have from Thelonious Monk, 
London Collection Volume 3. This was recorded in 1971. One of the last sessions with Monk uh, as a band leader. This is a trio. Um, Art Blakey's on drums as well, so that is pretty hot. Um, this was recorded once again in 1971. All right, next we have the hot reissue of the week. A lot of pre-orders for this record. This is No Effects with their album White Trash, Two Heaves and a Bean. It is the 30th anniversary of this release. It came out in 1992, believe it or not. It is on a ghostly sea blue and cloudy clear colored vinyl. I'm really excited about this, even though I have no idea about the video game called Norco. Um, this is the soundtrack to the video game Norco, and it is a collaboration, so to speak. It's a double LP, the best I can tell, in a gatefold package. It is red, the red vinyl. And the way that I understand it, there's one album that is the video game soundtrack, and that is by Googly Eye. And then there's another record, which is new music composed by the band Thou, T-H-O-U, Thou, the New Orleans sludge metal band. And so there's two records in here. So I'm really excited to check this one out. Once again, there's the video game soundtrack for Norco. All right, speaking of Thou, we have uh, another release from them. They are pretty famous for doing some covers, especially Nirvana covers. They did a whole album of Nirvana covers. Well, here they have compiled all of their covers that were not Nirvana's tracks that they recorded between 2009 and 2022. These were things that showed up on compilation albums or tribute albums or maybe never saw the light of day. Well, they compiled them all on this record here, which is called Primer of Holy Words. It is on a trans wavy gold colored vinyl and they're doing tracks by Alice in Chains, the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, Pearl Jam, Born Against, Minor Threat, Neil Young, and some really obscure tracks as well. So uh, I'm really interested in checking this out. Again, this is the band Thou, the same band that not only has these covers, but also has an instrumental for that Norco video game soundtrack. Okay, we've got a new album from Pianos Become the Teeth. This is their fifth album. It is on a gatefold package and it is entitled The Drift. Hey, not necessarily new music, but a new release. This week, we have Post Malone with his album 12 Carat Toothache. Um, it is available now on cassette. We have a reissue from Dan Reeder. This album originally came out in 2006. It's called Sweetheart, and it is on the Oh Boy label. All right, next up, we have the latest, Volume 5, from their Switched On series. We have Stereo Lab with Pulse of the Early Brain. This is on a mirrorboard gold gatefold sleeve. Really, really cool. It is a triple LP. It includes a poster, a sticker, and a digital download. Oh, I want to tell you something. Speaking of stickers, that Megadeth record, or compact disc rather, has a sticker in it. We have a reissue from Sun Ra this week. Uh, this album is called Ra to the Rescue. It was originally released in 1983 and is on a limited green colored vinyl. All right, this album was really big at one time. That one time was 1997 and maybe 2022. This is the self-titled album from Third Eye Blind. It has a lot of uh, jams on it, including Semi Charmed Life. Um, this came out in 1997. It had a vinyl press then, but it didn't have a vinyl press for many years. And then in the late 20 teens, we started to see reissues of it. So now we have another one. This is on black colored vinyl with a brownish cover. Okay, we have a new album from Youngblood. We have it on CD. We also have it on vinyl. This vinyl is pink colored. It also includes a poster and both the vinyl and the CD have an insert where Youngblood has given him our us is John Hancock. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Next we have the uh, album is called Not Again by Zero. They were a band that was formed in the early 80s by guitarist Steve Kimmock. And members of this band include luminaries from the 
San Francisco scene at that time. Uh, Nicky Hopkins, who played piano for the Stones and the Who and the Beatles, he's in the band. Uh, Vince Wellneck, who played keyboards for the Dead and the Tubes, he's in the band. Also members of Starship and Jerry Garcia Band. And Robert Hunter, he wrote lyrics for Zero as well. This is a live performance from 1992 at the Great American Music Hall in San Francisco, California. So you can imagine that the tapers were going strong that night, and it sounds great. We record these on Wednesday. There are some things that will be here by Friday, most notably Elton John. Elton John has four records out on Friday, four reissues. Breaking Hearts from 1984. Love Songs from 1995, that is 18 of Elton John's most loved ballads. Um, it is a double LP, and this is going to be the first time it has been on vinyl in the U.S. Um, also, we have a reissue from Elton John from September 2006, the album The Captain and the Kid. Once again, this is going to be the first time that it is on vinyl in the U.S. as well. And uh, lastly, we have Elton John's Single Man. It came out in 1978, and it's the first album that Bernie Taupin was not involved with, and pretty much the last that he was not involved with. All right, well, thanks for making it this far. I want to remind you once again, we are open Memorial Day from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. Please keep in mind that we are cashless, Google Pay, Apple Pay, credit card, debit card, yes, please. Um, please keep in mind we no longer sell tickets in the store. We act as a portal. Um, you can also, one of the cool things is sometimes we have pre-sales. And we're going to have a pre-sale next week. So please watch our pre-order video. And you will find out about the pre-sale that we are, will be announcing that day. Um, you can like and subscribe to this channel. Smash that notification bell and you will not miss anything. Also, I want to let you know there's a couple good shows coming up this week, next week rather. Action Bronson is going to be at Janice Live. That is Tuesday, September 6th. And Built to Spill is going to be at Janice Live on Saturday, September 10th. You can get those tickets by going to our website where we act as a portal. Look for the liner notes tab and click the events link from there. All right. Well, that's it. That's a wrap. Hopefully, we will see you soon.